Good morning, I'm Matt Brody, this is Simply Must Go, and we are here at Overland Expo East. It is my first time here, I'm so excited. We actually got in last night, got the, uh, the new rooftop tent and the awning set up for the first time, breaking that in, testing out all the, the systems and stuff here, but I've never been to Expo East or West or Mountain or any of them. So this is my first time hanging out with Outland Motor Works here, That's who did my tent. Beave is with me in the back. Anyway, we're gonna start making some breakfast and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you around this place. Um, I'm trying to warm up because it was freezing last night. I'm still tired because I didn't sleep well because I was freezing last night. We'll have a better day today. I'm excited. Day one, this is gonna be great. A lot of really cool stuff we saw in the dark last night that I wanna see with the sun up. I'm excited for that. In all of the trips that we've done, I've never really done any base camping. So every time we've gone somewhere, it's been like overnight and then we drive the next spot and then sleep and then the next day we get up, we pack up, we drive. And in that driving, I've always been able to recharge my battery off of the car as we're driving and use the pass through to power the fridge and stuff like that. This is a completely different scenario where we're gonna be sitting for like three days. And so it's a really good test of my setup to see if I can actually manage to keep power and use the solar panels to charge things and keep up with my power usage. So I figure this is a safe place to test all of that because if stuff goes wrong, I've got like a thousand of my best friends here who can help me out if I'm in dire need and I'm not like trapped out in the woods for anything. But this is going to be an interesting test to see if I can actually like base camp somewhere and keep power. I've got the solar panels facing south and right now it looks like they're charging the battery at somewhere around 50 to 60 watts, which is beating the output of the refrigerator. So I'm at a positive gain. So the battery is actually charging still while running the refrigerator, which means that in a long-term scenario, I should be pretty good to go, which makes me happy. We're gonna keep testing it, keep an eye on it, but I think that's a sign that I can base camp for a while as long as I've got good access to the sun. Beave and I headed into the camping lot to start checking out all the different rigs and setups. Walking like a G, sipping Hennessy, President of Sweet, looking like a young Barack Obama. Skipping to the B, giving hella heat, I'ma need a C, just to count up all these dots and commas. I think it's ever then, I'm the better man, I'm the jam, I'ma have you crushing like a four wheel monster. Who you know who looking like this for real? Who you know who looking like this? Like many people, we chose the pass with camping option that lets you set up in the field during the event. It's a really convenient way to experience the expo and gives you a chance to hang out with other people and make new friends at night. Some of the rigs in the camping area were pretty incredible, from this diesel-powered 4Runner to old Land Cruisers, Jeeps, Gladiators, you name it, it was in there. I mean, look, there was even a teepee. Well, we're just gonna kinda cruise around this morning, get a lay of the land, kinda figure out what's all here what's all of interest. There's a bunch of classes and stuff that you can do. So we're gonna figure out exactly what this show is all about. Inside the vendor area, you'll find just about every piece of gear, setup, build, and vehicle on display. From Jeeps and Gladiators, to Toyotas and Hondas, to vans, and even these giant off-road RV things. This is an all-electric side-by-side camper van with gull wings. So yeah, literally everything. Overland Expo also has a lot of opportunity for education, classes, and even driving demos. So I can't give you all the details yet, but there's a good chance that there's a YJ that's gonna need some of this stuff. Just saying. Man, there is just so much here. It's amazing how many vendors are here. There's so many cool different vendors, lots of stuff for van life, lots of trailers. So we're getting lots of ideas of what we can do to our tiny camper company trailer to, to make it even better. Lots of just new things I've never seen. And then all the rigs in the parking lot. Like this place is amazing. I've seen a whole bunch of people that I know, met a lot of new people. This, is, this has been an awesome show so far. 
Toyota was giving out free customized hats. I thought it would be funny to have it say, I identify as a Jeep, but ended settling on Simply Must Go. All right, all right, I know, I know I don't drive a Toyota, but I don't dislike Toyotas. Beeb's got a Land Cruiser and it's, it's awesome. So I did end up getting a Simply Must Go Toyota hat, which I like it. I don't know, maybe I'll get a Toyota. Or maybe I'll just ride in Beeb's Land Cruiser. I have to say this Grenadier is really cool. It seems like everything the new Defenders needed to be. Beeb was really into it too, since he has a lot of history building Defender 90s. He was really tempted to put a deposit down, but I think I'll make him a Jeep guy yet. Look at, look at this slingshot, this is the nicest slingshot I've ever seen. They don't sell this at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Oh, I'm so pumped. So I'm at LED Lenser and they have like a spin to win thing, you know, where you sign up with your email address. Anyway, so I spun and uh, this is their top prize flashlight, which is over $100. So I just got a $100 flashlight for my email address. Man, we'll test this out later. I'm excited. Overlander Legos. Like, if they just sold those, I'd be really happy. All right, so I found the Terran booth. And if you guys know, I love my Terran Designs clothes. They've got campfire puffies here. Uh, I did a whole review on my, my Terran Campfire Puffy, so if you haven't seen that, I will link it up here. But these jackets are awesome, just so you know. They're amazing jackets. Hey, what's up guys? Hide with Terran. So just like our flagship, our traveler pants, this right here is called our daily driver shirt. And this is gonna be awesome for when you're traveling. It's got bamboo poly blend, so you can wear it for multiple days in a row. It's not gonna smell. Uh, it's a clean design, but it has all the stretch you need. And it's like moisture wicking, anti-wrinkle, so great for packing. We've got a lens cleaner down here with their subtle branding. And then one thing I'm really excited about is our collar stays. So with everything at Terran, we think about all the minor details. So these collar stays actually dual as fire starters. So it's flint tender and I'm just gonna... There you go. So when you're rocking the campfire puffy and the daily driver shirt, you can start a fire and prevent a fire in your campfire puffy. The only puffy in the outdoors that doesn't uh, get a hole when a little ember lands on it. Hey! You two are trouble together. Always. Guys. Everywhere. Always. <laughs> All right, so check this Bronco out. It is very much what I want the JKU to end up looking like with the red, with the white top, the white wheels. I'm almost there. I still got to get the white wheels, but that's, that's kind of the look I want to go for, that old classic red and white. I really love it. One thing I'm really interested in is a dual battery system. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this Genesis dual battery system. I was pretty impressed with it. Hey, I'm Shane Smith from Genesis Off-Road. We're here at Overland Expo East. We're showing off our brand new Gen 3 Power Hub. This is a new version of our dual battery kits. We know we've been selling dual battery kits since 2013. This is the latest and greatest. You got a new battery combiner that handles up to 300 amps continuous flowing through it all the time. So it's gonna handle high output alternators and the new alternators on, on newer vehicles that put out more power. We got new bus bars to give you more flexibility for hooking up all your accessory wires. You got three different sizes of studs for your heavy gauge cables. You still have some smaller connection points here for your lighter gauge stuff. We got a new bus, uh, we got a new boost button here that will allow the system to run in automatic mode so it'll connect and disconnect the batteries based on their voltage levels. Or you can manually connect the batteries and you can manually separate the batteries from each other if you need to. All right, so it's about five o'clock now, which meant the battery has been sitting on the solar panel all day, running the fridge, charging the smaller battery and charging some camera batteries, and the battery is up to 100%, which means the solar panel has been able to charge the battery, run all the devices, and maintain a full charge the whole day. So I'm going with the assumption that if I was to base camp and I'd had good access to the sky, plenty of light, I can basically sit here indefinitely and not run out of power, which is exactly what I was hoping for, which is great, that's a win. I 
didn't end up filming much in the evenings. One, because it was just too dark and there wasn't enough ambient light. But two, and really most of all, honestly, it was just so nice to turn the camera off and have some guy time and be around the fire with some old and some new friends. All right, so my buddies here have told me about Dr. Enough. They apparently originally had the, I guess the original recipe for Mountain Dew and then they sold it, but they have this recipe as well that they've decided to keep and it is only sold in Eastern Tennessee. So I've never seen this or heard of this, but they told me I had to try it. And so we are going to try it for the first time here. I have no idea what this is supposed to taste like. I'm a little worried, but they said I like it. Well, that's good. What do you think? I think it's good. Woo! It's like it's like a Sprite ginger ale, mm -hmm. but it's um, yeah, yeah, I like it a lot. Apparently, this has a whole bunch of vitamins and minerals in it as yeah. well, which I guess cancels out the sugar. I don't know, but apparently, it was the original energy drink too. So, exactly. Yeah. No, I'm gonna be up on yeah, that. It's only in East Tennessee, so I don't know when I'm gonna have it again. Guess I'm gonna have to make a trip up here, Absolutely. get some more. Cool. This is good. I like it. Good morning, it is the final day here at Expo East, and it was a very cold night. Wasn't quite prepared for that much cold, but got through it okay. Uh, we're going to get packed up and headed out pretty early this morning because we got a long drive home, but Expo East was awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It wasn't all about vendors, it was so much about the community, seeing other rigs, getting ideas, meeting new people. I got to see a lot of people that I hadn't ever met in person, but I had a lot of interactions with online. Uh, got to hang out and meet some new friends, uh, some new people that I think will be lifelong friends. So this was a great experience. This to me is definitely about the community. There are definitely vendors, classes, courses you can take, uh, even the chance to drive some obstacle courses and drive some new vehicles. But again, I think this whole experience is all about being in the community, meeting like-minded people, hanging out with friends, and having a great time. So if you're interested in doing any of the expos, I imagine the others are much like this, but Expo East, definitely gonna be on my uh, return trip list. So anyway, we had a great time. If you, uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe so you can come on actual adventures with us. I would love to see you there. And until next time, God bless, and we'll see you on the trails.